The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the November 18th, the magical Monday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day, and let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life is happening for us not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is gonna toss at us. Now today you and I, we're gonna go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I do want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, but even more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I am here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in well, you can't dial in. We don't have that phone system ready, but you can reach me by email. So send that off early. Send that to Steve at TFNN.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tigers, then well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Magical Monday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Well, we're beginning our day basically with a rally um, in all the U.S. indices that we track. Dow's up seven points, so basically flat out there. S&P's up 27. NASDAQ 203. Russell's up 15. Trend is up uh, a little over about three points out there. 41 points for the semis. You had gold up 47 bucks, one and nine tenths percent there. Silver's up 89 cents, nearly three percent. Lights recruit up two dollars. Natural gas is up a nickel. 30-year Treasury off a half a point, and the 10-year note is trading out at 109.20. Well, that's off about five ticks out there. Our leader in the clubhouse to the upside, dollar-wise micro strategy, about a $29 move, 9%. Tesla, 25 bucks, over 7%. Mercado Libre, 23 bucks, one and a quarter percent. Powell Industries, 17 bucks, 6%. Costco, almost $17, about a 2% move there. Our shakers to the downside, led by Eli Lilly, off 25 bucks, three and three tenths percent. Neurogene, 13 bucks, 40%. Alta Beauty, 13 bucks, nearly 4%. Granite Share is two, no, let's see, Thermo Fisher Scientific, seven bucks, one and a half percent. And Booze, Allen Hamilton, down six bucks, that's a 4% move to the downside. So, hope everybody out there had a uh, wonderful weekend. Good to be back with you. Let's begin our day by taking a look at, well, let's start off by taking a look at New York Stock Exchange, the advanced decline offset. Now, it's still trading below the zero threshold level. At zero threshold level, when you trade below it, as we've been below it now for about three or four days, that tells us that sellers are the ones in control. So right now, we'll consider today's uh, rally to be nothing more than a counter trend move. However, to offset that is the spot VIX index, which is still trading below its 50-day exponential moving average. The 50-day is at the... Um, 1789 area. We are trading right now at 1553. If we did see a close above um, 1789 or thereabouts, might change by a penny or two, uh, then we'd be above that 50 day and that would provide sellers with an edge. But right now, the spot VIX provides buyers with an edge. The New York Stock Exchange Advanced Client Oscillator gives um, sellers the um, uh, the edge out there. So let's go further than that. What else do we want to take a look at out here? Um, so let's take a look at this set of charts here because I'm trying to identify where is it if we start if we continue to move lower where is that next price target when we take a look at the daily time frame and then a the daily time frame what I've added to this set of charts out here are the rising trend well any trend line quite frankly but in this case here it's all rising trend lines so that seems to Stevie to be the next logical place should the markets move lower we talked about this potentially being a counter trend rally we can see that today likely to become day number one of 
of a rally. We know that most counter trend moves are about two bars. They go anywhere from two to four. The bottom of that daily profile for the ES mini, that is in play here as another price target. And that's up at the 59.55 um, level. In the case of the NQ, its profile area is up at 29.42. Now, the Dow never had a profile change in trend. It's got to sell the D point top. Price this morning got down and tested and rejected just as it did on Friday. And that was profile support. And that's at 43.491 out there. Whereas the Russell 2000, like the ES and NQ, have profile changes in trend to add to their A to B equal CD patterns to the upside. In this case here for the Russell 2000, its upside target likely the 2352 level. That's the bottom of its profile. Is there anything else out here for Stevie to take a look at? I would say no. So let's do this. Let's go switch over to my white background charts. By the way, I would love some requests out there. Um, I'm having a, uh, um, a, 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 uh, audio issue but i can still see everything inside of the uh, den out there so i'll go through i'll go through uh, whatever was typed in there uh, in a bit uh, but i would love to get some requests for you so please keep firing away so let's do this here let's go ahead and change screens and let's go see what's going on intraday and uh, so it'll be on my white background screens this is not we're going to take a look at just yet first request that came in from gt which was kweb so we'll go take a look at that but first i want to take a look at what's going on intraday well, I've got the gold charts out here. So let's start with gold, and then we'll go take a look at the equity future contract. So what we're looking for here in this rally is any kind of a topping signal. The one that I see out here right now is on the 120-minute time frame. And on the 120-minute time frame, we are in bar number nine as we speak right now. This bar is going to complete in 48 minutes out there. And this is as price is approaching 26.25. I would suggest that this is likely where we're going to see gold um, potentially top out, potentially just form a short term top. That I don't know. But in the case of the two hour time frame chart, its price target to the downside would be 2598. Now, remember, we are only in bar number nine right now. The pattern will not complete until the bar following bar number nine uh, finishes, and that would be anywhere between, well, that would be about two o'clock. So we're looking for a short-term potential top inside of Goldilocks. We would see it in the 10-minute and the 15-minute time frame charts first, so you'd want to watch that sometime between noon and 2 p.m. Now, that could just simply set up that first retracement. That retracement is going to be important to watch out there. Um, in this case here, as I mentioned on the two-hour chart, 25.98 would be the price target. On the 60-minute time frame chart, so I've got to just update this here. If you give me just a moment. The 60-minute time frame chart, we are in bar number eight as well. So this is going to go ahead and complete a TD9 count top at one. It will line right up at one o'clock, whereas we got two o'clock on the two-hour time frame chart. 30-minute time frame chart, let's see what we have out here. Where are we at with regard to counts? We're also in bar number eight. That says that this is going to go, should confirm a TD9 count top on a 30-minute time frame at 12 noon, complete that pattern at 12.30. So we do have these intraday charts here lining up to suggest, now typically what, John, inside the Tiger's Den, Mr. Z has taught us about the 1% move, the 2% move. We're pretty close to the 2% move. Maybe we got up there. We got up to the high today. Let's see, 26.17, the high today. Well, we're almost close to that right now. And typically you get to a 2% move, not that you can't get beyond that, but everything here right now is setting up to see some type of short term top out there. So take a snapshot of these uh, charts out there on your screen, and then you can take a look at those intraday support levels, whether oscillator and change lines or profile areas. Steve Rhodes with TFNN, we'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. 
Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. But I'm going to keep going here. So let's take a look at the uh, ES Mini. All right, now let's look at the details here. We'll take a look at the ES Mini, the NQ, then we'll get to some of the requests that have come in. So right now we're counting this as a uh, as a potential just simply counter trend rally. The reason is we have a sell the D point top in the ES Mini, and we have price trading below profile support. Now we're looking at the intraday charts. What I'm looking for here are any of those intraday charts that have clear bottoming signals. And the one that we've got that's clear is that four-hour time frame. So I'm just simply going to expand this chart out. And when I say clear, you can see a TD9 count bottom it formed. So we had a nice TD9 count bottom. It completed at uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. That was back on Friday. Now, since then, or since, yeah, since then, we have a bullish structured profile that has formed. This is the time frame chart that I would be paying most attention to. We are trading above the top of it, or the center of its bullish structured profile. We're trading above prior highs out there. This suggests that we should go target get the high of the profile and that's at about 59.38 at 59.31 you also have a little bit of a potential resistance that's a daily not the daily that's a four-hour oscillator and change line now knowing that that we just said that about a four-hour time frame chart now i look to the intraday charts and see if there's any kind of a topping signal the only topping signal i see is coming from the 10 minute time frame we are in bar number eight right now of a td9 count bar number nine will complete at 11:30. the bar following number nine at 11:40. so what you want to watch here you can see right now we can see that since the uh, time frame of 10 o'clock this morning what we see here is a complete series of higher lows out there so one of the first things you'd be looking for in any kind of a retracement out here you'd be looking for what a lower high and a lower low to form out there so watch a 10 minute chart for the es mini out here watch its td9 count if it gets negated it's just going to add to the idea that we took a look at first which was at the four hour time frame is suggesting move up to 59.38 i do not see any other topping signals on the uh, uh, on the intraday charts out here, I do see a TD9 count top that has been negated for the 60-minute time frame chart. So that's suggesting lower price. Watch the 10-minute time frame chart for your cue or clue. Now, on a retracement here, what we'll be looking for is price to pull back and test that oscillator and change line. Again, it's the 10-minute time frame we're looking at, and that's down at the 59.14 or 59.15 level. Let's go see what the charts are communicating to you and I for the NQ. Let's see if they're in sync. Now, I do know that it was not the 
four hour time frame chart for the NQ that had the TD9 count bottom, I believe it was the five hour time frame chart. Uh, but I could be wrong on that, but we're going to know uh, momentarily out here. And so we take a look at the NQ charts. Go ahead, populate already. Yep, it was the five hour time frame chart. Now, the NQ right now from a five hour basis is testing that first key level of resistance or about to. The first key level of resistance for it is the top of its profile. The top of that profile right now is printed out at 2713. Our high for the day, 2641. If price can close above that, it would likely go target, and it really should go target the 2787 level out there. Now, let's do this here. That's the time frame to be watching. We're up towards resistance, but we got a little bit to go to actually get up to what the profile identified. Now, when we look for the intraday charts, we're looking for any kind of signals. It is only here, again, the 10 minute time frame chart that we're taking a look at. Why why don't I do this? I can pull up all the 10 minute time frame charts. Let's just to see if we're in sync here. That would be helpful. So you give me just a moment here. We'll pull up those charts. You got the 15. Where's the 10? Here we go. So we're just going to see if we are in sync here. Not the band in sync, but uh, TD9 count in sync out there. Well, the YM, the Dow Equity Future Contract says nope. And the Russell 2000, no. So it's just the ES and the NQ that have these patterns out here. So in the case of the NQ, it should... Well, first on a 10 minute basis, that means at 1130, the NQ has to close above in order for this pattern to actually come to fruition here. Uh, price has to close above 2685.75. So as long as it does that, we'll have a TD9 count at 1130. That pattern will complete at uh, 1140 out there. And where price should pull back to is its oscillator and change on as well. That's 2648. So that's what's going on. I'll take one more quick peek, go back to those intraday charts, the um, eight panel set of charts that I've got for the NQ, just to make sure I didn't overlook anything else out there. We have a 60 minute TD9 count top that's been negated. So it's really all going to be about the five-hour resistance zone and the 10-minute uh, time frame chart. So that's what I'd be watching if you're an intraday tra trader, which many of the people in the den are. So hopefully that information is of assistance to you. Let's go on to our first request that came in this morning. This is coming in from GTE, who would like to take a look at one of his favorite stocks, his or her favorite stocks, and that is KWEB. So we take a look at this. Um, you've got all kinds of gaps out there. Those gaps are related to currency conversions. So we don't really pay attention to those. The question is, do I have any kind of a bottoming pattern? And the answer is, I do not. I believe there's an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. The TD9 count pattern was taken out. That was the bar from October 17th. The volume there, 28 million shares. When it was passed with a gap to the downside, was 42 million shares. So you have a gap to the down. You have a confirmed A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. We'll simply draw in the A to B line. And then we'll just simply move that over to the C point. That's the highest high that forms after that B point of the A to B equals CD pattern. So you've got a one-to-one -one price objective that gets you down into about the $26 area. There is support at $28.90. In the case of the weekly time frame chart, it took out a swing point from the week of October 18th. Volume, 177 million shares taken out last week with... 133 million shares. So this is a, what's called a tiger girdle. It's going to give us the same A to B equals CD pattern that we just took a look at. Um, here, I don't have any support to the uh, downside. Um, in the case of the monthly time frame chart, uh, KWEB is trading back inside its profile. Uh, that says that uh, price is consolidated between 25.63 and 32.64. So that's what I see when I take a like, KWEB, again, a daily A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. Today, right now, nothing more than just a counter trend move. Peak G inside the Tiger's Den wants to take a look at ticker symbol FNMA. FNMA, nice rally that's going on here, Peak. And what it's going to form today is a TD nine count top. Now, that pattern is going to go ahead and complete tomorrow. That says we could or should get a short term top between today and tomorrow out here. Now, I see here a series of nothing but this is on the daily time frame, a series of higher lows out there. We've never even gotten back to the low of the prior bar out there. So a very strong momentum move. If you take a look at the weekly time frame chart, no topping pattern whatsoever. The monthly time frame chart is going to negate a TD9 countdown. Now there's a big, huge A to B equals CD pattern on the upside. Just a gigantic move out here. Its next price target 
We'll take you back to the swing point here on the monthly time frame into September of 2019. The high there being $4.23. So it's the daily time frame. What I would be doing, Pete, because I would come towards, let's say, take a look at a 15-minute, a 30-minute time frame chart. Let's just put that 15-minute chart. The oscillator and change line here is not going to be accurate. It's going to be reflective probably of a 65-minute time frame. Here you've got a TD9 count top. So on a 15-minute basis, what you want to be watching for is the high of 355 on a 15 minute basis if you close above that you've got more legs to run to the upside to the downside it's wherever that oscillator and change line is this is not the correct one out there let me put a 30 minute time frame chart up see if there's any kind of a topping signal here and here i do not have a topping pattern so watch the 15 minute right now just simply from an intraday standpoint but otherwise um you know you got that daily time frame maybe that td9 count is not going to take hold steve rhodes with tfnn we'll be right back trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels, you'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns, you'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry October 11th and 25th for more live trading action. Your purchase goes towards two sessions, so make sure to sign up now so you don't miss a chance to sit next to Larry as he trades the market live. For all information and to reserve your spot today, go to the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
price is trading above 707. 707 is courtesy of that TD9 count. That's its breakdown level. That's where price may find resistance. So watch today's close. If price is able to close above 707, we're trading into its swing point, a peak G, wave number seven top out there, from the day of October 21st. The volume on that day was 9.7 million shares. Today so far, in the first two hours of trading, we're up with 3 million shares. That says you're pulling into that swing point with volume. So LB, if price closes above 789 today, and specifically, you'd love to see it above 797 because you want to see price close above that breakdown level. Then that's going to suggest you're going to go tackle that high. On a weekly time frame, everything here is uh, bullish. Um, you're trading about profile and oscillator and change line resistance. On a monthly time frame, uh, Next Gen Energy has got resistance up at the 831 level out there. So that seems to be a likely target. So all systems are go when we take a look at Next Gen Energy. LB, hope that helps you out. GT wrote back and said that... Uh, uh, please take a look at the emerging markets, EEM. Emerging markets have gotten crushed. Why have they gotten crushed? Because we've been rallying inside the U.S. dollar index out there. They do not perform well when that occurs out here. So, GTE, if you're trading... If you're trading the uh, EEM, you really want to be paying attention to the U.S. dollar. Now, luckily for you, Ron R. wrote in, and he wanted to, like, to take a look at the U.S. dollar, but mostly he would like to take a long position inside of the euro. The euro represents 57% of the weighting inside the U.S. dollar, so we're going to look at that after this. In this case here, the EEM charts are, I probably have a confirmed A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. B point would be the day from October 31st. Volume there, 43 million shares. It was passed with 33 million 26 million, 34 million. Nonetheless, there's an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. Now, the next downside price target for potential support, this is not respective of the A to B equals CD pattern, is 42.26. In the case of the weekly time frame chart, uh, we have here a Rhodes Mint indicator top it was a key reversal bar that formed on October 11th. We're inside its profiles out here. So you've got different potential support levels, 4206, 4270. On a monthly time frame chart, you have a TD9 count top. Price is testing support, 4279. That's the top of its profile. If price moves below 4279, we're looking at a move to 4186. You close below 4186, then you're back to the buy zone between 3748 and 3881. So you got the emerging markets. Uh, watch that U.S. dollar index out there. In fact, let's go do this right now. Let's go take a look at the, um, not the U.S. dollar. We'll do that on a different uh, screen out here. But you are looking, Ron, at going long the euro. So we don't really want to necessarily take a look at the U.S. dollar. We want to see what's going on inside of the euro. Well, we take a look at the euro. I'm going to open up the daily time frame chart out here and see if there's any kind of pattern that we can draw in. Well, we certainly can draw in an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. So let's go draw that in. I don't believe that it's completed that move, but let's go test it out. So our A point's going to be the high from September 25th. The B point's going to be that TD9 count pattern that ended up failing on October 23rd. Ron, I'm just simply going to move the A to B point over to the C point out here. I'm going to try to do that, and then we'll see, has this completed the A to B equals CD pattern to the downside? It's close, but no cigar out there. So... Um, today might form bar number nine of a TD9 count pattern out there, but it won't be a TD9 count bottom. In order for that to happen, you need to see bar number seven here. That's the low of the pattern, November 14th. The low of that pattern is 1.0496. You need to see price spike below that in order to generate a potential TD9 count bottom. The other thing that you'd be waiting for is for price to get down and uh, complete that A to B equals CD pattern. Now, again, this is just kind of an estimate out here, but I've got about buck oh four. Um, but do the A to B equals CD pattern so you've got that sort of exact number on your screen out there. Uh, if you get a bullish reversal candle, then that would confirm a buy the D point pattern. As far as where would price rally to, price would rally up towards the Sassiter and change line right now. That's a buck six now if we take a look at an intraday chart here for the euro so let me pull this over actually let me do this first otherwise i'm likely to screw myself up here 
which we don't want to do, at least intentionally. Now I'm going to pull over the 30-minute time frame chart, Ron, for us to take a look at. We'll take a look at a couple intraday charts. TD9 count top out here in the 30-minute, came in at 5 o'clock in the morning. Price pulled back to support, 1.0533. And now what we've got is a negated TD9 count top. So the only thing stopping the euro from moving higher is this profile, 1.0574. Watch that. If price closes above that, you would see a further rally out there. Um, if we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, just to give you a bigger picture of what the euro is communicating to you and I, let's go ahead and open up that screen. And here we take a look at the weekly time frame chart. What we could possibly be looking at is a big old-fashioned consolidation. So let's, Stevie, draw that in out here. Uh, so the top of that consolidation is about, where is it? About sort of right there. And the bottom of which... You know, so you could say that the euro, now the euro's only got bar number seven of a TD9 count. Uh, Ron, I don't know if you trade consolidation patterns, but there you go. You can draw one in similar as well. Last week, price got down to test that level. But if price does close below, the, the level that price really needs to close below in order to suggest to you and I that we're headed much lower is going to be the TD9 count bottom that formed back in October of 2023. That low, note this on your pad of paper, 1.0448. If we close below that on a weekly time frame, the euro could easily head all the way back to its lows out here back in October of 2022 out there. And that's at the 95% level. And if that happens, as long as Europe is still around, we should all go travel over there because it would be on sale for us in the United States. Now, uh, while I do have a minute to go here before a break, what I'm going to do here for you, Ron, is go over to my black background screens. We'll take a look at the U.S. dollar index there. The first place that we'll take a look at that is on my market update charts. And here, as we open up these market update charts here, here what we have, what took place, um, what did take place? So we did not get a topping pattern on Friday out there. Here's what you've got inside the U.S. dollar index round that I can share with you. You have a new profile that is formed. 1.0699 is resistance, and it's actually um, a bit of a, it's a slightly bearish structured profile, the center being at the... Uh, 106.40 level if we close below 106.40 likely what we're going to do is go make a move down to the 105.82 area so uh, what you're going to want to watch if you do take that euro rally to the extent you want to watch the u.s dollar index i'd be watching 105.82 on a pullback out there so ron i hope that answers the question with regard to both the u.s dollar index as well as the euro thanks much for taking the time to write and we come back to this break we're going to go take a look at tesla and that's for s p inside our tiger's den we'll be right back time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey you've no doubt come across many folks who push forex trading as a way to make big money quickly unfortunately there are equally as many stories of these so-called forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the forex market this is what sets teddy keck stacks the tiger forex report off the riffraff Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits.
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. Let's go take a look at Tesla. This is for S&P inside our Tiger's Den. We've got Tesla right now trading out at 341.93. It is trading above the top of its daily profile. It's trading above its green oscillator and change line. Those are bullish conditions out there. It's trading into its swing point out here, uh, S&P, from the trading session of November 11th. That had volume of 210 million shares. We're up right now with 64, 64, 180. It's a little bit light in the loafers. Nonetheless, if you do close above... 336, even Steven today, odds favor you're going to go target that high, 358.64. No topping, no topping pattern, excuse me, on the weekly time frame chart, price above all resistance, full breakout mode. Monthly time frame, same thing as well, S&P, it's in full breakout mode, it's above all resistance levels. Uh, let me open up this daily chart again as well see if we're going against anything now we're really not so what do we have out here you've got a nice a to b equals cd pattern to the upside looks like that completed but let me just confirm that and that gave us a sell the d point pattern that took price right back to ah did i really do that i did no let me see here is it back i can't believe i deleted the chart where did it go? Okay, um, so we're going to just simply uh, take a look at the weekly. You can see the A to B equals CD pattern on a weekly time frame. So uh, let me pull up a daily chart. Sorry about that, folks. going to take just a moment to do that here. Um, did not mean to delete that. Where is a new chart? Here we go. Tesla. Come on. And uh, daily. Sorry about having to do this, but otherwise I really can't... Uh, do much so okay we got the daily time frame out so in essence what I was saying this is formed an A to B equals CD pattern the sell the D point out here was confirmed with this bear separating candle but again price pulled back and test rejected support so it's moved to the downside in fact maybe over the confirmation of that would be a close above the high from November 11th out there 358.64 but the weekly and the day uh, monthly charts are definitely suggesting that that high should get hit again so S&P hope that helped you out with regard to uh, Tesla as always thanks so much for taking the time to write in Dan inside the Tiger's Den would like to take a look at natural gas so let's look at Stevie's intraday charts and see what's going on here we know that we've got to sell the D point bottom or sell the D point top on the uh, daily time frame small a to b equals cd pattern and dan what you've got right now again i'm looking at the january contract so december's still active but we roll over to january here 
um, uh, in the next several days. So I've just simply have switched over to January. I don't even know what's inside UNG right now. But on a daily time frame for the January contract, uh, and this will be helpful to you because you probably don't have those profile levels, you've got support at 304 and resists up at the 323 level. Now, if we close above 323, that would set up a new A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. That would look something like this. We'll draw in the A to B level. We'll just simply go ahead and uh, copy and paste, and then we'll give you a, a price. Now, this is not the price projection yet, only if we can close above. There we go. Close above that uh, 323 level out there. Happens to also be the top of its profile. Now, that would give you a price projection up towards a 340 level. That's on the daily time frame. So, consolidation on the daily time frame. Five-hour time frame out here, what do we have? Not much. What I'm going to do first is just... so. Just scanning for any kind of top or bottom signal out here. Hmm. So what are we, what is this doing? What is natural gas doing? So I've seen retracements. If you look at a five-hour time frame chart, price retraced back to the top of its profile. Support held. Four-hour time frame chart, the same thing. Uh, Two-hour time frame chart, the same thing. The 60-minute time frame chart, the same thing. The 30-minute chart, not so fast. It says you need to close above. So I would say this becomes your resistance level, 315 on a 15-minute basis. On the 10-minute uh, basis, you're looking at 316 and then 318. And, of course, on the daily, you're all the way back up at that 323 level. So, Dan, I, I don't know if that was a whole lot of help to you, but you do have the new January profile, so that should be of some assistance. As always, thanks so much for taking the time to write in. Our next request is to take a look at VTI. This is for Angelo. So in a moment, we'll be up at those. Oh, my goodness, I was on the black background screens. Hmm. Sorry about that, folks. That's a problem. That's a okay. So I'm going to do this here real quickly. Well, not too quick, but going to go back to natural gas. Here, Dan, a natural gas. I'm just simply going to open up the daily because nobody can see it, including you. We'll pull this back. You'll see the new set of profiles. New set of profiles at 304 for support, 323 as a resistance. Again, you close above 323. You've got that A to B equals CD pattern to the upside out there. Just so that you can capture these screens, you can see those intraday charts along the top. Pulling back and testing support, which is held in here along the 30, 15 uh, minute time frame chart. You can see price trading into those resistance areas. I'm going to go back and take a look at Tesla because I probably didn't have Tesla up on my screen either. Here, as we take a look at that Tesla, you can see on the weekly and the monthly time frame chart, price trading above all resistance levels out there. Says it wants to move higher. The A to B equals CD pattern on a daily time frame confirmed again by that bear separating candle that formed on November 12th. But if we do close above the high from November, 11th. Again, 358.64. You're back and off to the races out there. Now, let's go take a look at VTI. Hopefully, I did cover everything. I'm sorry, folks, because I don't have any sound, I'm really going back and forth between uh, the production facility and you guys, and so it's just not as smooth as normal. But VTI, because that's what we're taking a look at as we speak right now, VTI is uh, trading, it's really consolidating inside the daily profile. Now, Angelo, on Friday, price closed below profile, 291.22. If at day's end, we close back below that level out there, you have a profile change in trend signal. What would that do? Well, that could take us to 275. And 275.12, at the moment, at this moment in time, is the monthly oscillator and change line. Um, you are likely on a monthly basis, don't have a guarantee of it, but on a monthly basis, you're likely to negate a TD9 count top. You negated a TD9 count top on the weekly basis two weeks ago. So from a longer term standpoint, this still looks good. I know you wrote in because I gave you an A to B equals CD price projection. Price hit that level. So what you're watching for right now, just simply on the daily time frame, you'd love to see this just continue to consolidate. In order to do that, you need to see price consistently trading between 291.22 and 298.12 out there. I do not see a topping pattern on the, well, I take that back. I see a sell the D point top that formed on a Friday of last week when price gap to the downside. I'm just going to make sure of that. I'm going to draw in, I'm going to draw in the conservative A to B equals CD. So I got to believe that that's what we have out here. Yeah, for sure. Um, so you do have a sell the D point top out here. In order for that to get negated, you just simply need to see a close above the low from November 14th. 
So, Angela, I hope that helped you out with regard to, uh, again, daily, uh, weekly and monthly, or muy bueno with regard to VTI. Eddie writes in, he wants to take a look at the uh, Trump uh, uh, ETF out there, DJT. So, DJT is uh, trading inside its bear structure daily profile and below the center of it. Odds favor, Eddie, that price wants to go target profile support, 2388. Now, if it's going to do that on a weekly time frame, you've got to get below the weekly oscillator and change on. That's at 2353. So watch 2353. If we start trading below that, 2388 is wide open on a monthly basis right now. On a monthly basis, if price closes below 2733, then you're back to 1256. So dial. So Watch that weekly asset and change on. That's going to be your signal that we're headed to lower price. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We come back to this break. Let's look at PARA for Mohammed as well as SEDG. We'll be right back. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Perfect. Okay, so we're taking a look at Paramount uh, Global out here. This is from Mohammed. Mohammed, price has got a TD9 count top. That TD9 count top now has taken price back to its buy zone. The buy zone of its daily profile is between the range of 1062 and 1085. It closed below 1062 today. It's going to suggest that we get back to its breakout level of 1029. You need two closes below that profile support, but uh, so watch 1062. It may hold, but uh, close below that, we get to 1029. The weekly time frame chart shows that we're trying to get back inside its weekly profile. In order to do that, it just needs to close below 1069. 
We are trading with inside the monthly profile. So I don't see anything out here on a monthly basis to assist us. Weekly has a roads to indicator bottom, somewhat of a sideways move out there, but it's really the daily right now, and it's dealing with that support level. If I put up a 30 minute time frame chart as an example, what we don't see out here is any kind of a bottom signal. This is suggesting lower price. So I put up a 65 minute time frame chart. Let's see what we have out here. 65 minute TD9 count. This bar here is going to go ahead and complete at 1245. The next one would be 65 minutes after that. So you'll get a uh, you'll get a TD9 count bottom pattern on the 65 minute time frame chart. That's the one I'd be watching, Mohammed, if I were you. And uh, hope that helps you out. Let's go to your second request out here, which ticker symbol SEDG. Let's put that up on our screens. And SEDG right now is trading out at uh, 1091. It's in bar number nine of a TD9 count. It will go ahead and confirm a TD9 count pattern today, most likely. All it needs to do is just simply close below 1224. We're at 1091 right now. That suggests that we should rally up towards resistance. Right now, that's going to be the bottom of its profile, 1181. If price can close above 1181, 1232 to 1259 would be its next upside target. The weekly time frame chart says I'm not done headed lower the monthly time frame chart says i want to go ahead and complete a td9 count bottom at the end of this month folks thanks so much for joining me sorry for a couple of those screw ups uh, we're going to get that audio fixed so that uh, that doesn't happen again hopefully i'll be back with you at about 3 15 with jacob if we get that audio fixed have a marvelous monday folks and i'll look forward to speaking with you again soon take care and thanks for all your help